very much for joining us here on France Van Cat. Hello and welcome to The Week in the Americas. And we start this hour with that breaking news coming out of Chile. The rescue tunnel has now reached the 33 men who've been trapped underground since the 5th of August. These pictures coming in live as we speak. Now they've been waiting 66 agonizing days, a painful period of waiting that hopefully will soon be over. The Basque separatist group ETA has said that it will no longer carry out armed attacks. This in a video that the group sent to the television network, the BBC. That message has now also been published on the website of the Basque language newspaper, Gara. Now for more on this, we go straight to our correspondent in Spain, Sarah Morris. Sarah, what more do we know about this video and this ceasefire declaration? Well, we, we know that the Spanish media... To Russia now, where less than two weeks after authorities lifted the state of emergency, wildfires have flared up once again, this time in the south of the country. Five people are now confirmed dead, and over 500 buildings have already burned to the ground. We're joined here in the France Van Cat newsroom by Shireen Abadi. She's an Iranian lawyer and a former judge known around the globe for her work to promote human rights and democracy. She was awarded the Nobel Peace Prize back in 2003. Do you personally feel under threat from the Iranian regime? I do. I've been threatened several times. In Venezuela, Chavez says that the crime stems from the lasting wealth inequality created under former leaders. But the opposition claims the spike in violence is due to the ineffective justice system and high rates of corruption. And on this issue, it's the opposition that does seem to have the upper hand. After all, the murder rate has more than quadrupled since Chavez took power, making Venezuela one of the most dangerous nations on the earth. In the United States, campaign season is now in full swing ahead of the midterm elections coming up in November. Candidates for local and national office are stepping up the intensity of their push for voter support. While well, most analysts say that Republicans are likely to make gains, as President Barack Obama is having a tough time convincing voters that his policies are getting the economy back on track. And that's all we have time for now. We'll be back in just 20 minutes. Do stay with us. We'll